Alright, so I'm gonna mute now. Alright guys, hey, it's Kyle again. What's up? Right now, I'm gonna show you how to make a pod loader. You know how to hassle getting the balls from your paintball box or the bags of 500 that comes in, whatever, into your pods without spilling any. Probably waste a lot of paint. I know I did, so. Alright, I'm gonna show you how to make one of these. Looks kinda better. Holds up pretty nicely there. Got the screw off top. Paint comes out. Alright. What you're gonna need, I had this applied to make another one. It's easy to all making this, maybe about 5 or 10 minutes, not this cool. That's 6 days to make this. Alright, so, what you're gonna need is some kind of bottle. I use the ocean spray bottle from some like grape juice or something. And you're gonna need some black duct tape. So you can have that. And it's just black baggy. It doesn't have to be the kind I use. It can, I like this because I can open and close it as I see. Easier to load paint. But, and you're also gonna need an X Acto knife and scissors as always. Never go a tutorial without using these, I don't know why. But, after you got your duct tape and all your supplies, what you're gonna do is take your exacto knife and your ocean spray bottle and just stab it into the back of it, not the top. You need the top, the top is always stays there, that way you can screw it on and off and make it a lot easier. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna stab exacto knife in the back, cut the back off about halfway, finish in the, with the scissors to make it even. Then when it's even, what you're gonna do is take your ziplock bag. You're going to take the bottom of it, not the top part. The top part, once again, stays there because that's where you're going to load the paint out. You don't want that getting fucked up. Otherwise, this is useless and paint will be flying over there. So, take your scissors, cut the bottom of the Ziploc bag off. Just do whatever. I don't care how far you cut it up. I cut mine up pretty far. That way, paint doesn't get caught over the edge like that or something. Because if it gets caught over the edge, it doesn't fall down in. But I got mine straight enough to it shouldn't be that. No paint on the edge there. I don't think it's one. But I. What you're gonna do after you cut that, put it over the bottom where you just cut the bag off. Right there. Cut. Just put it right over that, and then it should fit pretty nicely. And then after you do that, take your duct tape. Just undo it, wrap the baggie, and then tape the baggie like that is. Just tape it on, do it where it's open, and basically makes the bottle the size bigger. Alright? So, what you're gonna do, take the duct tape, just kind of rip off a piece, then just start taping away. I don't know how much you use, the more you use, the probably better it will be, because it will hold the paint better. And pour it down there. Yes. And it prevents the paint from going over the edge like I said earlier. After you do that, rip the duct tape off. And it should work fairly well. And you guys are probably saying, oh wow, that shit. Hey guys, it's Kyle again. Um, what's up? Everybody's asking about how my speed thing works, so I'm just gonna show you a little bit about how it works, alright? It's not the most efficient thing, but. It doesn't spill paint at least, and that's all I'm looking for. It gets the job done, so that's good. It's better than paying for the job. So, hey, and it loads easier. Not only does it feed easy, it loads easier. Load, no spill paint. Take another card. Then, pop it open. Load, no spill paint. Holds up my... Uh, 
piece of shit, like some kids try to make. That's what you do. So you have to feed the gun, because. I don't know. People are probably gonna sit here and flame on me, call me a noob. Whoa, wow, you suck. That's a terrible idea. I'm thinking outside the box. I'm saving money. You can go buy your fancy gear, but I'd rather put my money towards a DMI or something. Something that I can actually use on the field. It's not the slowest thing in the world, but you know. It's a done. It's not the most efficient either. Yeah, you know, if you're only paying a hundred dollars on eBay for some piece of shit that you use once, maybe twice, maybe out on the field. So I like to have my pod filled and do it really quickly when I'm about to go to play. So if you want to go and play the field and without messing around with all your pants, that's all you gotta do. Just make one of these, not hard. If you need to go tutorial or any other ideas or suggestions you might want me to make a tutorial on, just send me a message, comment, whatever, subscribe. I'll make you that tutorial. Thanks for watching.